here she is. What is going on people, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've noticed a few new people in, in the uh, subscriber list, so that's all going good. And a few more views, so everything seems to be picking up now. We haven't done a video for a little while, mainly because we've just been slacking, but um, we're going to be doing a few bits today on the Mini. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to get you guys up to date, make sure you know everything that's going on with it, and then I'll tell you and let you know what we're doing and cracking on with today. So, let's get into it. Alright, so mainly been concentrating on inside the actual car. Uh, as you can see, it looks a bit more complete and a bit more like a car. Um, we got an uh, so inch and a half roll cage tube from eBay from safety devices just to make a crossbar section um, so we can actually hang our pedals on. So as you can see, this is all cut into place, welded in here. Um, this is all fish mouthed and, and welded in properly so it's nice and sturdy in there. We've got some angle iron going across from the bar down to the back if you can see in there, I'm not too sure if you will, but it goes basically to the back of the, the bulkhead, welded all in again, so it's nice and sturdy in there. Uh, we hung the pedals from this, bolted it in, so again, everything's in place, moving right, and all good. There's a few sort of little adjustments, a little bit of sort of grinding just to do on, so a few of these bolts, as you can see, they touch sometimes when, when the pedals are moving left to right, so um, that will need to be looked at. Um, over here, this is our steering column and we, as you can see, bolted it on to the actual steering column. I had a drop column for my original Mini um, and we have basically cut around, around our roll cage and put it on. We had a, we had a spare piece over here, um, so we've cut around this and then hammered it round just to make sure that it fits perfect. Uh, and that enabled us to then just basically weld around it, get a nice good good fitting on there and to be honest everything fits and sits nice. Um, what else have we been doing? Ah, shifter. Our shifter. Now, before the original Honda one, if I can grab it for you, it is quite thick as you can see down here. Um, it sort of tapers and gets thicker. So the problem we had, I've got an OBP Peugeot short shifter here, so it's from a 106 and we needed it to be one continuous sort of thickness. So I took it down to a guy called Dan we know, I'll tag all of his Instagram, he makes kit cars and he's got some crazy builds. So I'll tag him down below if you want to go check out his page, ask him about stuff, go and do so. He made us this shifter, very nice bit of work. Uh, that sits nicely now in there. Um, it needs a slight bit of adjustment. I need to drop these down a little bit so the shifter can come down. Because at the moment it gets caught on the body underneath. Oh. So yeah, hitting on the bodywork under there. So I need to adjust that slightly. But yeah, that's in, and that's what we're going to be focusing on today uh, to try and get our, our gear selector all sort of finalised and in place. Uh, the radiator situation. Now this is where I left off before and this is where the views have been picking up recently which is a good thing. So in here as we can see the original subframe came up and over here so this is an all speed subframe. I believe this is the older version but I'm not 100% sure don't quote me on it I've got this second hand. So yeah it came up and over here so what we've done is we've cut it off turned it round and spun it round so it now sits inwards closer to the gearbox giving us a plenty of room now to get our radiator in, in here with a fan and then we've basically just tacked on a little mount again made from I think it's angle iron we sort of just cut it down so this now sits in there however if I get this in place for you so let me show you guys Right, so this is roughly in place, um, it pretty much sits like that, so it's a nice little fit. The fan, I don't know if you can see that, but it's very tight again. But as we can see down here, the tube on this, it came straight out and then had a slight tilt up, so it was very, very close to the gearbox. As we can probably, well, I don't know if you can see, but a slight marking in there. So what we had to do is get this, Minis. So we took this down to a local welder and he basically 
put a new fit in to bring this straight up so then it can clear the gearbox here and our hose which comes from back there somewhere can come straight down and connect straight into this without too much ag. So we just need to finalise uh, one more bracket but it's in place for now. It has a place to sit and then we just need to make one more just to secure it completely and that should be all there. So like I say today's plan is to get the shifter so we can select gears in and we're going to start then having a look at making our, uh, our, our hard lines for our brake and clutch and whatnot. so hopefully it all goes to plan and we get a fair bit done. Oh and also I got a new slave because the other one I think it's a common problem with the, the uh, seize up and whatnot I read up so I just thought you know what I'm going to go ahead and buy a brand new one and get rid of all the problems. We have in here somewhere here we are split pin however I want this for now so let's go get this in under there so we can start measuring up. Right, so I'm going to drop this down a little bit so the gear lever actually comes down so it doesn't hit on the body. So we've got clearance there. And then we're going to go back under just to uh, cable tie these two together so we can actually select some gears and it's sturdy together. Hopefully we can select some gears, make sure it's all right and it goes for every gear. And then that's when we can make the marks, make the cut and start welding it together hopefully. Let's get cracking. Right, so I've been cracking on with the uh, gear linkage and everything, and now I'll show you where we're at with it. <laughs> Pretty much. So, uh, we've temporarily sort of clamped it together just to stop it all spinning and connected it in up there for now. Um, we've just realised that we will need to take this out again. It's a little bit of a pain, but um, it's come up. So this is, this is what sort of the final product is going to look like. But, let me show you the exciting bit. Let's get in the old driver's seat. Hey. Oi, oi. So, this is the bit we've been waiting for. So this is, uh, the like I say, the OBP Peugeot 106 short shift. Uh, I got this made by, like I say, a guy called Dan, so I'll link that down in the description below. And this, this is just an eBay gears shifter. I'm sure you'll find that somewhere. So this is first. Ooh. Second. Third. Fourth. And fifth. And then, reverse. Lovely. So we've got every gear there, so now all we need to do is take this all apart again, which seems to be a reoccurring thing with this car, and then cut this to the right length and weld it all up. Right, so, just gave us a little paint up, nothing too fancy because it's under the car, but that's all painted up now and I'm, I think it's all dry now, so I'm going to whack, well it's a little bit wet up here, uh, that should be fine. So I'm going to try and whack that under the car now. So we've just been focusing on doing sort of clutch lines right now, hard line. Um, drill the hole here. So we're going to come through there. Uh, I'm going to drill another, probably two over here for the rear brakes and still to run the front brakes. But I've also bought uh, some four pot calipers with some vented discs. So they should be on their way. So I think I'm probably either going to... I, I, we'll see how we go, but I might route them in for now. I might not. I might wait till I get the other brakes and then get them in. But for now, we're just going to crack on, get that on, and then I'll jump back on doing the clutch and whatnot. Because I kind of want to see, hopefully by tomorrow, um, I've got a few things to plumb up, and hopefully by tomorrow we should be able to see if the gears are working and the clutches are working. Because I did actually have a problem before. But like I say, I think that might have been the clutch slave being the problem. So, ah, can you see, there we are, that's connected in there, it was welded and cut somewhere along here, um, what we did, we cut the piece out, 
and then we um, basically used the piece that was cut out and we sort of sliced it and sort of clamped it to make it smaller and smaller so we slotted it in between them and welded it and then sort of drilled holes and just sort of tack welded them just to make sure it's got extra rigidity and then I have temporary temporary put the pin in just for now so we're not going to put the gear stick on for now because it's white and it probably get absolutely ruined we should are we in a gear? so that should be neutral and first second third fourth fifth and then reverse is a little bit of a bastard to catch but there's fifth I just need to pull this up a little bit oh. so I need to get under there and adjust the uh, the bushes just so they're on there nice and tight and they're not slipping around like you've just seen but yeah that's the the gear linkage finally done and finalized now to move on to the pedals uh, why right so the main problem <laughs> I, I had all the gear sticky and everything was right but these these right here um, basically what's happening is well they're just rounding um, oh, you can't even see so them little screws they're called grub screws and they're supposed to grip onto this but because this is well stainless and it, it's just too tough for it what ideally I need to do is these marks on it I need to drill into these just to make little grooves for them to sit in so that's probably what I'm going to do uh, however, I don't think I'm going to do that on camera. I mean, you've seen it and you've seen it working. Um, it's getting dark out, very dark out. Uh, but that's where she sells. Stay for tonight. I'm running out of space on the camera. So I think I'm going to end the video up here. I'll finish all that off and I'll update you. If you want to see anything that may not be posted, just follow the Instagram B18B18 underscore mini. And that's where everything for this car will be going. So if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to smack the thumbs up button. And also, if you want to see more of the mini build, if you want to see us when they're done to do POV driving, we've got road trips planned. We've got um, Liam's EP3, we've got George's BMW, and we've got Nico's new Civic. If you want to see any of them, make sure to subscribe and make sure to put them bell notifications on so you get notified whenever we upload. Um, so yeah, man, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.